Hey everyone, Wother D. We're back for more Doom The Golden Souls 2, and I have done some fine shopping and got my armor up to full, because we're going to need it for this next level. This next level is something I skirted around earlier because, well, you'll see soon enough. It's Groovy Grotto. Oh boy. Let's get started. You bring a light? No. Yeah, the level starts off incredibly dark, and this is with 40 brightness added to it, so let's change this to True Color Software Renderer, because you're gonna need it considering the walls are incredibly pitch black and the enemies are already hard to see, like you can barely see this killer plant from a distance. And you're going to need all the help you can get, because this level is not easy. Not even because of the enemy presence, like, having the advantage over you. It's more of the level is freaking hard. And that you will probably die a couple of times. At least I know I did plenty of times in my run through this level. The good news is that you'll have all the advantages of pre-knowledge. And that you'll know when the enemies are going to try to sneak up on you. Like this red plant being put in a nice cramped spot getting the jump on you when you drop down from a high cliff and don't fall along the path. There is a good thing about this level, and it's a weapon. I always kind of like an assault rifle over a chain gun, because it makes more sense when you're going to use this thing for sniping across the plains very often. I do like that despite this 50 bullet clip, it's still pretty effective, and you are going to use it. Oh no, Bat Andy, you're doing this already. We aren't even past level 3 yet, and you're throwing this at us. Save state. Because uh, we haven't even gotten to the checkpoint yet, and we're already getting threatened from death from above and below. Jeez. Now, this is the thing I'm talking about here. You see how we have a clear, obvious death pit below us? Just look at this with the hardware accelerated you can't see shit like that's kind of an annoyance when you're trying to make these jumps coming up here because you even see that little platform on the far left that little wooden stake popping out of the ground yeah we're gonna be going back to it after i clear these guys out of here because they might be interrupting my fun trying to get that big coin up there and yeah this is why <laughs> I have some beef with this level. The fact that you have to do some butt-clenching jumps on these very small poles just to get this very hard-to-reach big coin. Please save your game after you grab that because I really don't want anybody to have to, like, go through that mind-boggling tension. Now, one of the things I do like about this level is enemy placement. It's kind of fair and balanced for the most part. It does have a few surprises here and there, and that's the thing that I'm kind of wanting to hope to see more of, because you're, I'm going to have to use my ears to help me out here in this case, because sometimes these enemies are placed in pretty good spots where they can get the jump on you. Like, for example, you're running for those coins, and you hear that hiss from behind you, and you're like, oh shit, what the hell? And you're going to get the jump on by that Kako Demon. Not to mention, we have the Probably the third time this guy has been placed in front of a switch. Here's the thing that sucks, though. Backtracking. Yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of this in this level, too. Backtracking, unfortunately, is a sign of, man, we didn't know what to do with the level design a little bit, so we decided just do what you have already are used to. Not a bad thing in this case, but it's going to get worse, just to let you know. And this is where the crushers get mean. You see these coins? Please stop when you pick them up because there's another one to greet you. And I am not going to spoil the secret of what happens when you get underneath said crushers. Because if you are aware of Doom 2, the, the crushers in that can either be slow and agonizingly deadly or fast. And oh, I'm still alive, but I feel like an accordion right now. And yes, that is actually a ledge above me. Yeah, this is one way you can check to see if it is, but just be careful, try to look before you leap if you aren't sure or confused at all, because I certainly was there. And we still have not found a checkpoint yet. This is why I recommend, please, use save states. Use them, because you will probably lose progress if you happen to make a tumble. 
And you see that thing on there? This is important. Do not do what I'm about to show you here. Please take my failure as advice. Yeah, the fact that I wasted one of the most powerful power-ups ever... Shameful. So I had to reload and promptly teach you that these do kill you instantly if you get underneath them. So be careful around the crushers. So Fire Fist. This is basically what happens if Doom Guy became Fire Doom Guy. Deadly fireballs will rain upon your foes, and it's like a berserk with a projectile that arches. The only thing you have to worry about is when you're trying to snipe something from a distance. That's the problem with this weapon, is that it's not very good for sniping, but when it comes to killing, you already saw the impact of those fireballs upon those caco demons. Instant tomato sauce. Problem is, is that there is a limited time offer with this power-up, understandably, and damn it. Yeah, there's a nice little jumping section that will throw you right back to a point where you can get killed by these if you reload your save, so be careful in this section. So this is sadly the point where my honeymoon phase has ended with this uh, total conversion. Checkpoint! The charm is getting blotted out by the freaking darkness of this level. We'll talk about his ass later. That's a new snippet. We don't need to talk about something that's already dead. But here's just an example of how much power this damn. You see that freaking <laughs> that demon went from here to across the room in one shot. That's all you need to know about how powerful this is. And if you're not convinced at the power of the Fire Fist, look at that freaking Hell Knight. That's not a Hell Knight anymore. That's a dead thing in the corner. So my golden advice, don't waste time when you are on fire, because you will basically kick everything's ass in your way while you have it on. Unfortunately, we get greeted with another switch attached to a dead end. But before we do some backtracking, there's something I'm hearing to the left. Aw, oh, damn it. Yeah, that's another big-ass coin, and I'm gonna save state for the love of God. Please do not jump over here. Run for dear life, because if there's one thing you should know about Doom Guy, acceleration is key to success here. Because if you happen to bump your head on this crushing ceiling, and lose your momentum, you're gonna find yourself never doing this. You will never make it out of this cave in one piece. Now let's do some backtracking because the level demands it from the player. I would really hope to see in the future to like consider maybe a way to warp back or maybe like a nice lovely little exit that opens up once you're done. Did I mention you're going to be hating the living hell out of these enemies here? I mean, even with an assault rifle and hit scan at your advantage, they are still going to be god-awful things. All I can suggest is pelt them rapidly with bullets so they don't even have a chance to shoot their hard-to-see pellets in the darkness. Though I can't be all griping about snippets in these kind of levels, because there is far worse enemies they could have put in this level that could cause even more undue stress. Thankfully, we won't talk about it today, but it's probably going to happen sooner or later. I do like that you're going to be switching from your shotgun and your rifle, because sniping is not always a thing you want to do, and honestly, that's the only reason why I would recommend pulling out an assault rifle. Uh oh we got a gate, and what's on our ru- Ah, oh, shit. Hello, Doom64. It's nice seeing you again, because this is a common situation in that game, where you just have a Hell Knight, a small-ass corridor, and a shotgun to fend them off with. I'm glad that Bat Andy is doing a good job making all the references count here, including the surprise gotcha moment with the frickin' red plant. I am so sick of these guys making a triumphant return and enemy placement maximum right now. Oh, thank god. Is that a flag? Good. 
Because flags in this level seem less like save points and more like, hey, you're making progress, you're not dying so much. Flag point! I highly recommend taking breathers at time, like just take the solace that you've gotten this far in this level. And then learn that this next section is where the level starts being a little less kind to. Like, you're thinking, oh, I'm safe, there's a wall here. Oh, shit. Yeah, there is no wall there. So I decided to snipe the living crap out of these damn killer plants and say, I'm done playing the whole peekaboo, I see you, shotgun shenanigans. And hello, Sniffit, I hear you. Good news is that when you have a rifle, I just can just speed through this part because I honestly don't think you have to question what's going to happen when an enemy can't even reach me with their fireballs. Yeah, it's basically, you win. Rifle rules when it comes to these long distance situations. But this is where the level starts getting a little kind of uh, lacking in ground to stand on because that's one coin on a small ass pillar. I am saving my game for sure. And then you get to this point, you're like, wait, what? Um, where the hell am I supposed to go? Seriously? Yeah, you're supposed to jump towards that gate even though there's no space. And then you have to deal with these imps taking pot shots on you because you have no room to move. And then, tripping. I'm guessing this is a brawl reference that I'm going to be experiencing here because uh, precise platforming, is not Doom's forte. Like, for example, Doom Guy never should be jumping in the first place. But here we are, and here's the problems of that. And I do appreciate that Bad Andy decided to put the checkpoint before all of this, so that way we wouldn't have to do possibly half or all of this level again. Ugh. But of course, at the same time, if you're not feeling sure about something, always use save states. So this is the first time I have a switch that takes me back to where I came. So that means I have one or two options. Let's do option one first. Option one is to go back through the section that you just did. Because there is a gate that you passed. And that gate is now open. Thank you game. I appreciate having a little bit of applause to pick up those big ass coins and not have to go through this level again for them. But we're not done. We have to do more backtracking because uh, the game demands it. But before we forget, remember that big door? Can't open it yet. We don't have a yellow skull key. Where is it? It's not on this level. I'll tell you that much. But what could this level possibly do to make things worse? Son of a bitch. Moving platforms now. Great. You know what comes with moving platforms? Fricking tomatoes that are trying to pelt you. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And the consequences of not knowing when to jump. My recommendation is to pull out your assault rifle right when you reach this spot and pelt the living hell out of these tomatoes because you do not need to go try fighting these things while moving up and down over and over again missing your shots just take them out on a stationary pillar but if you're thinking you're not going to have this happen yeah you will be fighting a hell knight like he's a crusher in platform peril blocking you from making progress thankfully for you is that his projectiles are not hit scan and you will probably have them whiz over your head or underneath that does not mean you will be always landing on these platforms if you're not careful so be careful just try to make sure these jumps count and use chase cam if you're not sure about the positioning because you just don't know until you land and you don't want to land in the abyss after having such a rough time with this level, but once you get to this spot, breathe easy because we are fucking done with Groovy Grotto. I love the name, but goddamn that Andy, why is this level a pain in the ass? Why did you have to make it so dark and painful? 
I am so glad to see this switch. I'll just tell you that much. And what's my recommendation after beating a hard level like that? The frickin' shop. Go back to it, get yourself all patched up, get your ammo back up and running, and take a deep breath. So while I was in the shop, I was thinking to myself, okay, what's on the left side? I feel like I missed something. Son of a bitch. Yeah, the yellow skull key is right here. They're in palaces all over the world, and this is one of the easiest levels in the game. This is where you can get your money back up and running, and there's only one possible way that you can die in this level, because, well, there's greed, and greed over a death pit means risk. So let me get these with ten times the speed. Yeah, because we don't need to see me be a greedy little asshole. And here's our skull key. The skull key will open up doors throughout the levels. And honestly, it's a nice thing to have. But I will tell you one thing. F this door. A big heart, shotgun shells, and a clip. I wasted my time for this crap. So you know what? I think we're done talking about Doom to Golden Souls 2 for now. Next time, I think we're gonna go to a more pleasant level. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And next time, the Oriental Garden awaits. Have a great day. Adios.